Mm. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know uh, how streaming is going to affect music and fans. Well, I mean, I know how it's going to affect fans and stuff like that, just meaning that, you know, as the world is becoming more online and the data storage isn't really needed anymore on, uh, you know, on your peer devices and stuff like that, like your phones and laptops and computers and every other kind of digital delivery device. Um, the storage is becoming less and less of a problem as the cloud's getting bigger and bigger and the bandwidth is getting better and better. So streaming services now are, are being ushered in as kind of the staple of uh, uh, electronic music delivery, um, which, is, which is great um, in terms of accessibility. Now it's just... The, on the on the business side of things, you know, you have to be really careful about that kind of thing because it's like, you know, uh, all the major labels are selling blanket licenses to streaming companies like Spotify and stuff like that where, you know, the artist isn't really benefiting as much because they were part of this, you know, umbrella streaming license that, you know, Universal sold to Spotify for, you know, $6 million but can't account for you know, what percentage of that was a certain artist's share of that. And that's the big controversy right now. And that's why Taylor Swift is here or, or whatever, because that's all she cries about. Um, other solutions to that kind of problem, I've, I've, I've kind of saw this one coming a while back and thought, well, I, I should start a subscription site that's ex exclusively my own and proprietary or proprietary to me. So then uh, I, I started just kind of still early, but live.devmouse.com where you can pay like, you know, five bucks or whatever. And then, you know, you'll get all my catalog, all my music and stuff like that. And Warner Chapel won't be fucking sending me out on the street in two years, you know, picking half smoked cigarette butts out of an ashtray because I can't afford a pack, you know. Um, so there's some issues that still need to be solved to, you know, sustain that kind of market for the artists not so much for the labels that do it because as as more artists become aware you know these kind of services are starting to collapse uh, a little bit by dealing with labels and the labels are starting to shrink a bit too um so it's it's a, it's a really complicated complicated question but I, I think everyone at the end of the day is is it's gonna it's gonna go the way of streaming it's just you know having to find a, a good middle ground between the artist and the consumer still is uh, how it's gonna benefit everyone